Hey, what's up everyone? Sam in the studio. Hope that you're having a great productive week. Uh, have another little topic I want to share and talk about today. But first, please, it helps a lot if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you hit the notifications and when new videos come up, you hear about them first. So I wanted to just cover today a little bit about music conferences. I'm just coming off of uh, last week uh, being on a panel of speakers at a music conference here in Southern California in Los Angeles. The conference I was at was called Sync Keepers. It's put on by uh, a lady named Kathy Heller who has had a bunch of success in sync and licensing and has her own licensing company and also teaches uh, courses based around on getting your music on television, film, um, and ads. And I took her class a number of years back and was on a panel kind of discussing uh, success stories. People that have kind of come through that course have had some success with sync. So it got me thinking and someone asked me just even not that long ago, they saw I was, was headed to this conference and someone DM me something to the effect of is is it even what's the value is it even worth it to go to something like a music related conference or the question comes up sometimes of which one should I go to and I won't be able to cover all of that in a YouTube video I think one of the main things you can do is do research as you're looking around you might look at what elements what things do you want to get better at i know there's ones for songwriting if you're very interested in songwriting i know there's great conferences um, around the world i'm sure that if you do some digging and searching and then as you're looking for different types of conferences you might look and see uh, what other people have commented or um, ideas about it so i'm going to cover just a little bit coming fresh off this experience of being on a panel and also attending the conference and tell you that for me in the last couple years, I would suggest, recommend, uh, I would uh, encourage you that there is some great value in conferences. I know that you there's a couple of things that are what might be the hangups. Um, one obviously is money. Many of these conferences cost money. They pay the speakers to get them in. Um, they they rent the venue. Uh, so they most of the time you'd be lucky if you could find a really good conference that's free. So it isn't an investment, it's a chunk of your money, but I would argue the fact that you're, that you're investing even monetarily into a conference and, and, and thus you have that investment into it, maybe you're more likely to go out the door and take it a little bit more seriously, you know, take notes as you're there, make those new contacts, meet other people that are interested in, in what you're interested in. So. Money might be one of those things that you just have to weigh. Maybe it's how many conferences a year do you go to or be more strategic about which ones you go to. So a second thing is the time. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you watching my YouTube channel or people like me might have a day job, might have some kind of job that they do. Some might be flexible, some might not. And you might think like, oh, I only get so many vacation hours, days, would I really want to spend those days uh, flying somewhere that's not uh, the Bahamas <laughs> and spending time uh, learning and listening and it does, it, it's different. It does take effort for all those things. But again, I'm just going to throw out there really what is it that you want to do? What are the things that you want to Pursue what is it that you want to learn get better at be more connected with um, start having more success with uh, if it's Related to a topic that you can see that there's a conference that that has a great connection and is as done and had some success stories and, and done well at that I would say man, why why wouldn't you want to go why not? Invest in yourself a little bit. We do need off days and vacation time if you can go to the Bahamas at some point uh, or just take a local vacation. Um, the, all these things are valuable is what I'm trying to say, but I got so much out of just two-day conference sync keepers uh, this past week, uh, making connections with some people that work in the industry. Um, perfect example. Uh, uh, product that I use is called Disco. I use this all the time. I use Disco every week, almost every day. 
This conference had someone that worked for Disco on one of the panels. How great was that? We got to hear some of the new, like a scoop of the inside stuff that was coming up for that company, for that software. And then I also got to put a face to a name. I introduced myself um, at the end and she was so gracious to say, hey, if you ever have questions, here's my email. Um, was very open and that right there is so worth it. It's so worth the cost of admission, the traveling to get there. Um, you're gonna have fun and meet a lot of people and learn a lot of things too, but there's just, there's so many things like that that if you take advantage of this, I notice the people that are plugging into things are the people that end up having some success stories and others might say, well like, oh, well, how, did they, how did they get there? How did they do that? And I think it's being proactive. You gotta be proactive in your, your craft, in your practicing your craft, in your, your career, in all these different aspects. And if you have a chance, if you can, can fund it, I don't know. I talked to one guy at this conference uh, last week who said um, his parents allowed him to, uh, to, he paid for half and they paid for half and then he's making payments to them and helping them do some projects on their house or something like that. So man, what a, what a win-win, what an investment. So anyways, just want to share a little bit about that question that I've gotten in the past is the value of music conferences. Uh, some of it is just be wise. Look and see if that's a win-win for you, if that's a match. And if there's some things there that you're already in that direction and you're interested in and you want to get better at and you want to get plugged into, conferences can be a great way to do that. Um, one last thing, if you could, if you made it all the way to the end of this video here, if you could type in below, what are some things that you'd be interested in me sharing on more future YouTube videos? I'm always looking for content and what is, uh, things that people are interested in learning. Um, should I cover more on the technical side, more encouragement videos, a little bit more of like what I'm doing? Uh, any, anything is valid and just love to hear uh, what you guys would like to hear from me. All right, thank you very much. Sam Kanak, Earwitness Studios.